So we're back for round number two of the new season focusing all about the SCS mods, Field Creator Studio mods. And last time I got the Seamoth done, I got the Cyclops done, and I got the start of our credit test system, or credit system test. Got all that going. I've got one ore consumer, so we need to build a second one today, which is not the big deal. I also need 10 diamonds and 10 gold. Now, I've been finding gold as part of making stuff already, but I haven't been getting diamonds. So, I need to go get a bunch of gold and diamond. And if I complete this, I get 500,000 credits in reward. And that means I can buy the first, actually, two deep drillers at that point. So, let's go grab some stuff. Oh, yes, a battery charger fragment. Some, you know, looking for gold, but I did see Rick, and I was like, I'm going to stop and get some scans. Uh, ultra glide fins, okay. Mod station. That's always a good thing right there. I'm getting close to that. And I have not made my laser cutter yet. I should be, yeah, just one room there. All right, I'll be coming back. And there we go, laser cutter. So... Maybe I could go ahead and make the laser cutter and check that room before I get too far away. Of course not. I need diamond. <laughs> uh, so one of the things I need diamond for as well. Uh, yeah. So I got to find plenty of extra diamond on this trip. Oh, yeah. The good spot. The big wreck here in the uh, Grand Reef. So, go ahead and grab all this stuff. That's one thing on lot thermal plant, which, you know, always good to have that. I'll be using that later. And drill arm fragments. Not for the process. I'm going to put these on my sea moth. Data box. Depth module mark one. And tons of thermal plant stuff around here, like always. So that's good. Extra titanium. If nothing else, I've got titanium to throw into the uh, processor. And ruby. Yes. Don't need ruby for anything just yet, but will shortly. You know what? I'm going to grab you too because I'm about to need some food. I've got water. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The good big wreck. Tons of stuff to scan. Uh, and torpedo arms. One more modification station fragment. There we go. Unlocked. So, uh, still need diamond. Data box. What is it? This one. Upgrade console. It's always good to be able to upgrade your vehicles. There we go. More gold, but at least it's the right outcropping. There! Finally! Diamond! Finally! Knew there'd be some around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're telling me I'm going to have to pay you back for finding stuff to survive with. So, I'm supposed to construct a second one instead of going all the way back and putting one by the life pod where the first one is. Why not just put one here? And I'll go ahead and toss in five gold that I have extra. And that gives me half of the gold I'm supposed to do. So, now I can go look for some more. I probably already have all the gold I need, but at least this way that gets it started without using all my supplies up and that is going, right? Turn on, turn off, on. Okay, it's on. It's not processing it. Normally I didn't have to have it connected to something that had gold uh, or not go power. Normally, I didn't have to actually have power. But maybe I do have to have something on it for it to have power now. Is it, yeah, it's actually getting power. Power restored. Uh, All primary systems online. Still says 90. Like, it's not processing my gold. Okay, it just took a moment for it to warm up. Uh, apparently, and... It's not going very fast. That's, so it's just, it's draining all the power from that one solar panel. You know what? We're going to put a second solar panel in. Just to, well, if I had quartz. There we go. Second diamond. So that's, that's the laser cutter. 
That's, that's not even getting started on the processing with the ore consumer. Oh, oh, time capsule. Yeah, let's see. What do we get? Give me something good. Give me the laser cutter. I don't have to make it. That would be great. Oh, I got thermal blade. Is that it? That really all I got? Thermal blade? I guess that is, that's all I got was the thermal blade. Oh, yes. More diamond. Finally. It's not having very good luck this time. Last time, got stuff very quick and easy. This time, not so much. Uh, I just keep getting all the wrong stuff. The stuff I'm not trying to get. Here we go. Uh, this should work all right. Other than, you know, I can't get down here with the sea moth right now. I don't have what I need for that. But hey, you know, they'll kick up stuff from the floor. Great way to get, hopefully, some diamond. Getting some diamond, finally. You know, it's just having... Having more to break helps a lot. They are, oh yeah, already up four diamond. Uh, this is working out. Plenty of gold too. Lithium as well, that's always helpful. Just, yeah, keep dancing. Just back and forth, back and forth I go. Okay, let's see. That's 10 exactly. 10 diamond exactly, uh, eight more gold. So I've got plenty of gold. I'm gonna go get one more round in. And I'm just gonna head back. I still haven't seen a single notification for that new ore consumer processing a single thing. So I have a feeling it's just not working. All this time, it still hasn't finished a single gold piece. Uh, yeah, I, I really don't wanna do this, but uh, you know, I'm just gonna have to Take it out. I'm just gonna take out the whole thing. Go on back. Or consumer number two. And of course I'm out of power. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go find the battery charger. All right, so two of them going. So 10 gold and 10 diamond at yes, good speed now. Not that barely going speed. So that's 90 seconds each. So that means I've got, you know, with 10 of them, I got 15 minutes. So while I'm waiting, I figure I might as well use my resources I have and make the all in one fabricator, which gives me everything in the normal fabricator plus all the stuff I unlock, like the modification station, vehicle upgrade console, scanner room, all the stuff I've unlocked already, I can make use of from one spot, which is awesome. Saves room. I don't have to do anything. Like, I could go ahead and make the thermal blade if, you know, I didn't have one from that time capsule. I'll go ahead and make two storage modules because, I mean, I know I'm going to get one from the Cyclops, but this way I can go ahead and have at least the first two in place, and that will help with the Sea Moth. I mean, not Cyclops, the Aurora. I'll find one on the Aurora when I go in there finally. So at least I've got two now to help with my future excursions. And I haven't even got all of the gold or diamond processed. I'm already closing in on that 210,000 that I need for a deep driller. So I'll be able to get that. And I'm thinking that with the 500,000 I get, plus, you know, the extra I have beyond that from the other diamond and everything i might have enough to get a transceiver a server and of course the floor rack right now is the, what you need for the transceiver to work so if i could get all of those and put them inside the multi-purpose room next to my platform i can go ahead and automate my money production so let's go ahead and grab that it can go right in to uh, its own storage, it's not gonna matter. It's, it's not going to really matter. Actually, you know what, before I go, I grabbed it because I knew I'm gonna need it. Uh, these no longer come with lubricant level already kind of in there. You kind of have to add lubricant when you produce them. And I'm gonna keep this one here 
for a bit because my production's already here. Yes, it'd be great to go somewhere else. Uh, but I'm gonna wait till at least I get the Aurora cleared. So I'm not gonna use all the lubricant yet. I'm just gonna get started. But let's see, we'll go right over here. And oh yeah, new power pylon I haven't tried yet. We're gonna definitely be playing with that uh, as well, but I have not tried it yet. And I don't want to spend money on it at this point until I know I've got other stuff taken care of. So there we go. Deep driller drops down. Lubricant needed. Yep. Just waiting on you to boot. Come on. Ta Come on. There we go. All right. So we're going to go in. We're going to uh, refill the lube. Which I'll go ahead. I'll just put two in. That should be plenty. Yeah. 33%. We're going to leave it at 12 per day because if you modify... The value is going to really mess you up uh, on power usage. So we're going to filter to just well, gold and silver. Let's do gold and silver. That way I got gold for money, but also, you know, gold and silver for making stuff. And uh, yeah, 12 per day. That is 2.6 power. That gives it enough to build up excess power then I can play around with the uh, speed a little bit almost done I'm gonna throw more gold in and go ahead throw some silver into just so these will keep going for a little bit and yeah I should be like one away from my big reward let's see how it's doing on that yeah got that mark so we'll get that and we'll get a remote storage unit Kit, which is another reason why I wasn't worried about that because that's going to uh, let me have it or then I can have it pipe into the kit here which will then be usable as part of the base storage to pipe straight into those which means I don't even have to worry about coming to get stuff out I could just let it go and it's solar power so it's not the best but yeah it'll be basically able to automate the process all right here we go Gold is about to finish the last one. So, yep, got my gold. Okay, so it, it triggered right away. And now the diamond is going to finish. Let's see if we get some kind of fanfare or something. Uh, no, we did not. We did not get a fanfare on it. Okay, uh, so I've helped test the connection. Uh, okay, uh, did not get my reward yet. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's go to the hub. Okay, um, well, here's upgrades for telepower, uh, no vehicle stuff. So, uh, I'm not getting the reward part. Um, clicky, clicky. Okay, get, where's the reward thing? I, I was really kind of counting on that you know, working so I could get that. Uh, this is not working. Well, darn. Uh, that's, that's a downer. I was really counting on that half a million. That would, uh, make this so much easier to go ahead and get the next part of this going. Okay, I've got the money. So, oh, you know, I didn't even think about this. I need the transceiver, I need the server rack to put the transceiver in, and I need the terminal just for the programming part, just to make it work, not counting any storage. So, I still don't even have enough after that, you know, to cover the server. Uh, but, the terminal does interact with any interior storage as well. Oh yeah, I have not been to this wreck yet. Oh yes! Battery charger fragment. Oh, we got the one. There we go. That's it. That is everything I needed right there. This is what I really needed right now. That gives me a way to charge my batteries up. I, I've been, I have just been slowly draining all my batteries, trying not to make too many extras right now. Data box, high capacity tank, lightweight high capacity tank. So, you know, I go a little, a little bit more swoofed. Okay, battery charger. Need this big time. There we go. All right, let's grab the dead batteries. <laughs> and 
That one's still kind of good. That's low. And that's low. So I've got four. Yeah, this is actually, you know, I probably should do this in the bakes. Well, no, I want the consumers going right now. So I can, I'll sacrifice some power from the Cyclops. And now let's see, 396,000. So that, that, and that comes out to 400,078. I am less than 4,000 credits, units, whatever away. And there it goes to emergency power. So, uh, that's gonna wait a minute. I'm just sitting here like waiting patiently as the last few seconds tick away and the next one processes giving me that 400,000 that I need because it's daytime. They're running. I saw it. One was like at 20 seconds. So it was, it should be like, unless of course I've, I've locked it up that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I didn't want to process while I was looking at it or maybe I just coincidentally, no, it, I must've done it at the coincidentally exact time. So we got the floor rack, which is what you need for the transceiver to work. The transceiver, which will do the transferring and the terminal so I can program everything. So terminal, got to put that in. We got to put in the floor rack. Be nice when that works with the wall mounted rack for the transceiver. But right now it doesn't. So we got that. Now I'm just going to go ahead. No, not slot 16, slot 17. We're going to transfer this. So that gives me the, uh, transceiver in there and now uh go here go to this to program and i'm pretty sure it's one because that was the you know first one but let's just double check so we're gonna go number one we're going to uh transfer gold to it how about that i'll just switch the deep driller to gold only for right now and we'll just keep it at you know we'll go two at a time and do that and confirm. So now, uh, as far as storage, it should be piping gold over once I put some gold inside. This one's empty, which is fine. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna set this back to gold only because uh, I've got silver right now. And I'll just do a standard cheapo locker instead of having to wait for a server. So swap those over. I've got my gold showing. So it should process to that one, keeping it at that number in the device. So it's probably not pulling right now because I have more than that in there. Uh, I'm going to say, yeah, I've got too many pending. So it should be automating it now. Let's go ahead. I'll toss that in. And one thing I've added this time around is a mod that lets me build on other spaces that I normally would not build on like the Cyclops. Uh, so we're going to try this. I can get this to, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's just do it right here. I'm not worried about looks. I just want to tie it in. And I believe I also have to do the power transmitter on it for the power to actually connect. Just fine. I've got the supply, so we'll do that. Let's just see it hopefully connecting. So it's showing like full charge, 75 of 75. Max power. Yeah, I like that. It's, it's not showing a connection over there. Well, I'm not seeing it go up. But I'm hearing what sounds like uh, power cells. Yep. So something is causing enough of a drain right now that it's, you know, trying to power up something. It's not doing a lot, but it's trying. It's 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 at least trying. It's a, that looks like that should be done. So I'm gonna take these out. Maybe that will help. So that solar panel built on here is just not working. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade to a solar charger for the Cyclops because I can build that from here. 
And that is going to simplify things a bit. I'm going to add another little insert later. I'm not going to worry about uh, mod or, you know, upgrades insert right there just yet. But this way, you see, I'm still draining power or, you know, just producing stuff. So, yeah, that solar panel outside is not working. Also, the solar panels on the base are just not producing enough power. And I've got enough money. So instead of buying the server, because I've got storage already, I'm going to go ahead and buy me a solar cluster, which should let me replace the whole solar panel set up on the base. There we go. Okay, so it's just needs a lot of space in order to do the little twisty thing. So that's done. There we go. Power is kicking in. And it's actually not powering up as much as I was kind of hoping. It also shows I am out of supplies. I've already emptied everything from here. Production is underway. I'm making some money. I can now start building up money to get stuff kind of, you know, hopefully ready for a base build somewhere. Uh, so, yeah, right now I'm just going to leave this. I'm going to let that, you know, do some work. And we'll go take care of the Aurora because... I, I want to get out of this stupid radiation suit. All right, Mr. Crawler, come here so I can give you your... There you go. Your health check comes back. Good, sir. And I'm just going to go in through your little spot over here. How about that? If that's all right with you guys. Actually, go ahead, do that. Actually you, you go out there. I got to put out everybody's fire. Always me. Got to go and fix everything. Nobody else bothering to come look at this. What am I supposed to be? Uh, engineer? Maintenance guy? Uh, batteries, you know. Now I got the battery charger, it's not such a big deal. Gotta make sure I scan the prawn suits. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Take the storage module. That means I only have to make one more storage module. You know, maybe I don't need to repair the leaks. I mean... A little radiation has never hurt anybody, right? So I decided to be eco-friendly and just, you know, save the little fishies. So the Aurora is fixed. Radiation is fixed. That annoying part's over with. I haven't seen any, you know, pop-ups for money earnings recently. So my, what I left in there has run out. I probably have a bunch of gold now in the deep driller. So I at least have stuff rolling with that. I didn't get the 500,000 unit credit you know, reward. I didn't get the remote storage. It might work as soon as I reload the game save. I don't know, but I've got things rolling. So now the question is, where do I want to build my base? So leave a comment below. Let me know where it is you would like to see the base this time and nothing too far out of the way right now where I have to, you know, not like active lava zone. So it takes a while to get there. Something we can go ahead and get started on in the next video. Uh, but at least I've got some stuff going here. So yeah, leave a comment. Let me know where you like to see the base this time. Uh, I'm just going to try to do one main base and that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And of course, hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week and I'll see you in the next video.